So I've been asked a lot about what I've done with irrigation for our garden. There's jets throughout the garden, similar to these, whether they're 180 or 90 degrees, they're all over. I used to have it split into four zones based on the pump I used to have. Only I had a hundred gallon or a one gallon per hour pump previous, and I switched to a three gallon per hour uh, 12 volt pump. So it was split into four sections with these valves, and now with the new pump, I can run the entire garden all at once, irrigating everything, including the berries and the potato pots or potato buckets. So let's go see where the water for this is coming from. So here's my 12 volt pump. And I've got a couple of valves on there so I can shut off the flow of water even when the pumps aren't running because the rain barrels are higher ground than the garden and it will siphon out and drain the, the my rain barrels over time if I don't. I've got a valve that I turn off when I'm not using it and then I have a switch there in the background that I can turn off the power on and off from my 12 volt solar powered battery grid and on this side I've got two 100 liter rain barrels and on the other side of the house I have another two and I've got two more that I want to plumb into the system to get everything to work so I'll be running a total of six at some point I just have to get everything plumbed in but let's go take a quick look at the battery bank so here's the beginnings of my battery bank I've got a five deep cycle batteries there that I purchased only one new the other ones were second hand and then I've expanded with some automotive batteries even though I've heard that you're not supposed to mix the types of batteries this system has done very well um, I do have a, a desulfator that runs when the system's over 13 volts which has really helped keep the batteries in really good shape I've got two different inverters in here that I run for running different things my garage door opener fridge power tools charge all my cordless batteries for everything and this is powered off of two uh, 150 watt solar panels that are on the roof of my garage and it does a really good job of keeping these batteries topped up even on uh, cloudy days so it's been a very good setup to not only run everything I need it to but also it runs the garden and keeps my veggies very happy with being pumped with uh, rainwater so hope this kind of makes sense if you have any questions or comments leave them below the video and I'll do my best to get back to you thanks for watching